Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, today we're taking out the Ember, which is still one of my favorite Agile cruisers and also one of the most powerful tier 7 cruisers out there. Uh, mainly because it has that very nice 30 millimeter bow and uh, on top of that you get the choice between radar and smoke. I always go radar by the way and the uh, 1.9 second rudder and nearly 40 knots and you get three amazing heels as well <laughs> and you get the improved acceleration of British cruisers. And, uh, as you can see, I'm a very popular target here because uh, this is a battle here that's just absolute chaos. And uh, after this battle finished, I was scratching my head thinking, what could I have done better? And well, the thing is, there's not really anything I could do better. It's just the fact that, uh, yeah, sometimes you just get teams that are absolutely, uh, yeah, new to the game. <laughs> Let's put it like that. So uh, there's no less than four destroyers in this battle here and uh, I mean Edinburgh is, at least this Edinburgh here with agile build and radar is just made for hunting destroyers. So obviously that's my priority in this battle here. That's my reason to be in this battle is to kill off those destroyers. And uh, if you look at the sea cap, the battleship that spawned over there, he has of course left the cap leaving the destroyer alone. Destroyer, at the very least, he finishes capping and uh, then he realizes, hey, I'm alone on the flank and uh, I mean then, I mean all bits are off really. <laughs> so uh, we got the Kiev caught here and uh, he's in my sonar and that's just what I've been waiting for. And as you saw in the beginning I moved straight into the middle of the map, straight into the B cap to make sure that none of these like, numerous destroyers here could catch it or take it before uh, I got in there. Because uh, this way I can keep this cap here uh, and no one can really take it. <laughs> if and that's a big if, if, you know, none of the flanks fall. But because the sea flank is obviously going to be overrun very, very soon, I have to reposition. And I was in a perfect spot there. As long as I was sitting there, no one can take the B cap. Uh, but because I have to look a little bit ahead and, you know, think that, okay, it won't be long before battleships come around from the sea cap and are able to crossfire me, I have to uh, pull over into this position here. So I'm keeping the Yudachi spotted with my sonar as long as I possibly can, hoping that someone will get in a shot. And uh, I mean, if the flank hadn't been given up over on the other side, I would have stayed in my position there and then just ambushed every destroyer coming in. And uh, yeah, that would have been uh, yeah pretty much the best play, I think. But because I can't stay there, I have to move into this position, meaning that I cannot get that Yudachi. Uh, he's just, uh, he's too far away. He's sitting on the other side of the, the uh, island and I just can't get to him. Instead, we're gonna make sure this Mars here is out of the game. So that's two destroyers down in the first four minutes. I mean, this is a win. It's a win right now. <laughs> but because that sea cap was left like right at the beginning of the battle. And uh, you've heard me say this many times, but I mean, if you leave your flank like you are losing the game for your team, especially if you are a battleship. And uh, if you notice what that battleship's doing, all he's doing is he's sailing from C, broadside the whole way, obviously, of course, all the way over to A. And as soon as he makes it into A, which is already taken, there's no point going over there. As soon as he makes it into A, he gets railed by someone from somewhere and uh, finishes the game with, I don't know, 600 XP or something like that. And uh, I mean, that's not tier seven play. I realize it's a tier six battleship, but Still, when you're at tier 6, uh, you should not play like that. It's just, uh, it's unacceptable, really. And uh, yeah, I'm just getting fed up with it. So uh, I can tell right now that we are probably going to lose this battle here. Um, I will still focus on destroyers because uh, that's where I can do the, the most good. And uh, there's one in the cap. So I'm going to take a chance here and see if I can't remove this Yudachi here because he's just been waiting for his chance. He probably thought I left, but uh, I didn't. And uh, unfortunately, he's a smart dude, this guy, and uh, he decides not to run away, but instead get into cover. And uh, in such a way that it's hard for me to actually uh, get at his broadside there, because I could almost one-shot him with the broadside, but as you can see now, well, not much I can do. And uh, there's a cruiser approaching, and uh, because, like I said in the beginning, the sea cap has fallen, and we're gonna get cross-fried from over there, 
Uh, I have to keep my bow pointing that way, so I don't get uh, citadel by some unseen battleship. And uh, in a minute, that's my greatest fear, is materializing right there, the North Carolina. Because uh, the sea cap has been flipped, and uh, there's no one over there to contest anything. And uh, I'm now getting crossfired, and I'm going to have to give up this position here. And that means giving up control of the middle of the map, and that means that we're going to lose this uh, battle here. It's very simple. Um, and I still have two destroyers, they're sitting right next to me. And I don't know what they're doing either. I mean, they should go out and spot. There's no point sitting there next to me. I'm this, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm there to kill off destroyers and then cap. And uh, you can't really help with that. Uh, so I'm going to have to leave the middle. And uh, also now these destroyers here are getting spotted, which is also uh, like incredible. How do you manage to do that? <laughs> but <laughs> who knows? Anyway, we have a Cleveland here, and luckily someone is actually helping out here. So uh, at least that's a plus. Because we need to get this guy out of the way, because um, he's in a pretty bad position now. And if he, if he survives, then uh, we're in a really bad spot here. Because then we have a Cleveland in one corner, and uh, pretty much the whole rest of the red team just steamrolling uh, from the flank over at C across B, and uh, just pushing everyone into A now. and. Uh, once you have your whole team, you know, gathered in, you know, six, nine squares, well, it's a loss. And uh, I'm just trying to get into cover now uh, on the other side of the cap. Of course, I'm getting spotted by everyone, pretty much. And uh, I need to get rid of this uh, Summers here. And uh, of course, the Yudachi is still around somewhere as well. And uh, I'm getting targeted by a few ships, so uh, I can't really relax. I have to keep my wits about me, but I'm still fighting to get over here into cover, so uh, I can at least set up some sort of resistance over here. Because, uh, and there's a Yudachi, he pops up again, and uh, he makes a mistake. He actually shoots at me, and that's destroyer number three. At least in a little bit, will be destroyer number three. And that's three out of four destroyers. And uh, I mean, I took out two in the first four minutes, but it did nada. And then we got the third one here. We should be able to turn the battle now. We are down one ship, um, but I am nearly dead uh, because I've been pushed all the way from uh, the middle of the map to this spot here behind an island because the sea cap was uh, abandoned right off the bat. It's not really true, the destroyer stayed, but um, obviously one destroyer against three other ships over there. I mean, you can discuss if he should have stayed or if, if he did the right thing by leaving. I mean, that's impossible to say uh, without actually being that destroyer yourself. But I can say that the battleships leaving flanks, that is the worst play you can possibly do in this game here. And it happens all the time. And I think it's one of the main reasons that the, uh, if you didn't know this, the average base XP of the Iowa tier 7 battleship, tier 7 that is, is uh, like just under a thousand. I mean that's just, that's just horrible. And uh, But I mean after playing this game for three years it's not surprising <laughs> because I mean battleship players in general they are the worst players in this game here. Uh, they are the ones that just download the game, you know, get a tier 7 battleship somehow and uh, they don't really understand the game. They just, you know, they just want to sail out there and fire some big guns, and they don't understand that they shouldn't show broadside. And you know, they run away if they just like get catch a glimpse of a destroyer. And you know, yeah. So uh, anyway, I've sort of accepted my destiny here. I'm just thinking, oh, I would like to get this Somers here for my Kraken, and uh, then I'll be happy to uh, surrender this game to the red team because uh, that certainly looks like the way it's going to go. Like, we're not that far behind on points, actually. Only about 100. Uh, but with the Wichita down here, that was uh, yeah, the nail in our coffin there. Uh, but on the other hand, like the three of us, three remaining blue ships here, we have just been pushed down into this uh, area here, and we are going to get... We're going to get ganged up on here, and uh, like I said, if I can get this Summers out of the way, one, I'll get a Kraken, two, uh, the spotting for the red team will be gone and we might, might be able to turn this around. I say we, because <laughs> that's a mistake, because I'm the only ship left now and uh, the North Carolina is 
half health and he's had a, an eye for me pretty much the whole battle since he fired that first salvo that made me retreat from the B cap. Um, so it's one versus three and I'm down to a thousand hit points. I'm sorry, 359 hit points. <laughs> so obviously this is just a matter of time and uh, I did my best, but uh, yeah, sometimes there's just, there's just very little you can do. I mean, um, if people don't uh, at least make it a tiny bit of effort. <laughs> so that's the end of Edinburgh here. And it's still a ship I really enjoy to play. I usually always have great fun battles in this ship, uh, just like in Minotaur. And hopefully the same thing in Neptune when it comes out next update. So uh, we had two players here, the Wichita and myself, at least, at least trying. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't enough. There was a Mines and the Summers and they, well, they tried hard as well and they just did better. So uh, too bad, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you out there.